so we are uh, on the board for having a new subject which is computer research project right so yes, for that yes, sake we should uh, we should know the basics of computers so the, you know the few things the uh, little bit of history little bit of innovations because computer is all about the innovations right from 1960s yes, i believe till 2022 we have uh, discovered lots of things about computers like from macro to micro is it so yes, there are lots of eras and changes i believe that you must be aware of few things but we will you know go uh, according to the you know technologies and innovations so uh, the topic uh, the title of your uh, subject is computer pro- research project like how do you do research whenever you have any kind of a project which is based on computer like how do you use tools how do you analyze things so it yes, is, uh, course is all about the analyzation and uh, lots of other you know evaluations regarding the computer system how to use few tools okay so for that yes, sake you yes, should ma'am. know that what is computing uh, like computing is uh, like le- the word computer comes from of- the word compute which means to calculate right compute you know yes, when, uh, have you ever heard the people let's me le- uh, let's uh, uh, compute few things it means let's calculate few things whenever you write calculate. anything or click anything it means that device is doing something on the back end like the processors are doing something and now what are that processes which the processes are doing it you know the ram and the rom random access memory random one memory you know yes ma'am they are the built in functions they are the built in processors inside your uh, computer which we don't computer. know what what they are doing we just we just have the graphic user interface means the screen okay yes, we ma'am. have two things inside we have hardware things and we have software things now software things yeah um, in the ancient times i want to say ancient times in the past time the use of hardware was more frequent as compared to the software yes now the use of software is more frequent than hardwares the hardware, hardware. things are getting obsolete day by day is it so yes, computer ma'am. means to compute to calculate to evaluate things thereby a computer is an electronic device that can perform arithmetic operations at high speed obviously if i say 2 plus 2 plus 4 into uh, 12 is equal to you will take time but computer won't take time is it no yes ma'am it will it, not take time it, yeah it, it takes high speed and high it speed. has yeah so uh, these 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 all are the op- arithmetic operations and whenever you write anything on word on ppt slides whatever it it also need arithmetic operations but we can't say we can't see by the naked eyes but it is it contains arithmetic operations as well like binary operations you know what are the binary numbers yes ma'am uh, Zero and one. Like zero, the, yes, ma'am. Yeah. One zero in like in this. Yes, yeah, ma'am. only one zero. Yes, ma'am. Zero, zero one two. zero one like yeah. this. Zero means false. One means two. These are called two. bits. Okay, in bits and yes, bytes. Ma'am. Have you heard like like this uh, thing contains these bytes and this thing contains these bytes and all? You know, a computer is also called a data processor. As I said, you data processor because it can store, process, and retrieve data whenever okay. desired. We you know we play with data. whenever we uh, uh, use computer we play with data we store it we process it we retrieve it whenever we want you know we we go to recycle bin and retrieve the data the old one whenever we want it is it yes ma'am okay now the data processing data processing uh, that there is a process you know the, the activity which we do on the compu- on the computers there are called data processes like data if we have a data then we the computer captures the data then manipulate the data like train it like you know computer thinks that what kind of functions can be performed on that data then it gives you output result and that output result is your information information right and that data yes, is always in a raw form like it's not compact it's not organized we need to organize it first so computer do everything by by it functions you know we don't have to do anything we don't have to put any effort on combining on uh, organizing uh, on on rectifying that data computer you know does it by itself yes ma'am 
we we just you know have to analyze the output if that is desirable or not that's it okay data is in yes, always in raw form the first data is your input and the last data is your output do output. remember one thing that the game of computer is always between the input and the output and between them between input and the output we have processors we have lots of processors yes, for memory you know computer contains memory computer is also called a, a digital brain right yes ma'am okay then the characteristics of computers for example given a job computer can work in on automatically without human intervention right is it true or yes, not yes ma'am obviously uh, it's yes, automatic it's everybody everything is automated inside you just have to click you just have to put your input then you have your desired output then speed like as we already discussed discussed that it you know computes the automatic operation at very high speed now what's that speed you know that is in microseconds nanoseconds and picoseconds micro means 10 raised to power minus 6 it means 1 over 100000 okay it means okay, it is that it is that small minus 6 okay then accuracy yes, accuracy of a computer is consistently high and the degree of its accuracy depends upon its design or you know that uh, the accuracy you know given by the uh, computer is very very much high and very very much precise and accurate is it you know yes, there, there, yes, a, there there are less chances of having errors yes ma'am and that, you know why it's so accurate because of the function garbage in garbage out gigo okay it means gigo garbage in and garbage out out something is coming in then computer will rectify and then that gar garbage will you get out you know like you know garbage at your home what you do yes ma'am do you place it or do you uh, you know trash it throw outside yeah throw outside very good so computer does same things as human do yes ma'am okay then uh, the, the, again the uh, characteristics Di diligence it's very uh, high in performance computer is very much high in performance why because it it never get tired <laughs> have you ever seen that you know computer get tired yes. no it can no, work continuously hours and hours but but sometimes it uh, it gives you error because you know it needs uh, uh, it needs proper functioning it needs proper maintenance sometimes you know when there is a yes, issue ma inside okay then the versatility versatility what does that mean that i have told you that from the past time from until now there are lots of features which have been changed you can say like the example is windows you know uh, day by day windows are getting changed the features modifying are getting, yeah day, modifying day day. so it means that the, the, this machine is very much versatile yes, and then power of remembering what does that mean Rem remembering means memory you know it has a lot yes. of big 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 memories lots of and you know you can also use hard drives for storing few things yes ma'am so it means that it has a huge capacity yes ma'am okay no iq iq means intelligence quotient it does not need any kind of iq as we as the human uh, needs okay so computer yes, every uh, computer do everything according to the automatic operations and the program uh, programming which it uh, which it does okay and it has no feelings like, like we yes, humans sir. have okay it, it does computer yes, it just give you the uh, desired output which you want yes ma'am okay then it's a history so do we <clears throat> go through it evolution of yes, computer there was a, a scientist blaise pascal invented the first mechanical adding machine it was just a adding machine in 1642 then the baron i invented the first calculator for multiplication in 1671 okay Ma yes, calculator okay then the keyboard machine originated in united states around 1880 just a keyboard machine it's not all about computers you know it's more beyond than that around 1880 herman came up with the concept of punch cards that were extensively used as input media until late 1970s Yes, and then Charles Bagage is considered to be the father of modern digital computer. So it means after eighteen eighty, things were getting revolutionized uh, in terms of for the future prospect of digital computers. Okay. Yes, ma'am. And some well-known early computers in nineteen thirty-seven to forty-four, there was Mark One computer. Have you heard about it, Mark One? Uh, no, ma'am. 
then the berry computers and then enac and edwek edsec univec i have heard about the univec i believe then the generations you know you know that uh, uh, the computer have been have been you know revolutionized according to the generations you know generation 1 computer generation 2 you know this thing yes ma'am okay yes ma'am generation in computer talk is a step in technology okay it provides a framework for growth of computer industry so it means that we have grown a lot a lot in the computer generations because there there are five computer generations till now yes ma'am okay so these are the computer generation you need to you just need to read it okay that what kind of changes have been made in the hardwares and softwares you know from generation 1 to generation 5 okay i believe okay. the main the main feature which has been changed is the storage yes ma'am storage and uh... storage and bit of you know from macro to micro the smaller ones the yes, level easy to use handy to use and cheaper to buy yes ma'am okay so you have to just read it okay then there were lots of you know devices electronic devices which are used in the computers and different generations you know in the ancient times vacuum tubes were you know used as uh, electronic devices have you seen it it is more like a bulb right yes ma'am and it it it's big and it's uh, it's not it's very fragile so it's very hard to uh you know uh, store it and you know very uh, you know vigilant to use it right so uh, in the next generation transistors were used do you know what what are the transistors which amplifies the result if i yes ma'am it's a first generation i think uh, the first generation is vacuum tube first generation yes ma'am then transistors okay. now ic chips no ic means integrated circuits okay whenever you, yes, you know, open your mobile or hard the hardware of you know this uh, computer will you will find a you know, small ics with these legs that are embedded on the uh, on the board yes ma'am i've seen it yes ma'am yeah so in the ancient times uh, the ics were also very very big now they have become very 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 small so the main point of you know introducing today's lecture was uh, all all about the computers the data processors how it use it, how it is being used and how we can you know uh, centuries yeah. over the centuries and how we can take advantages of it and what are the main building blocks of computer so it uh, first of all let uh, let us uh, again revise it uh, uh, everything is you know revolves around the data processing yes ma'am okay and have you have you remember that we have done flow charts in business intelligence yes ma'am flow charts yes ma'am you know the boxes contains few functions uh, round means to start and end uh, and the um, rectangle what does that mean yes ma'am rectangle yes ma'am so in the next lecture we will you know revise those things because the, those flow charts are the you know main for for structuring any program so we need to yes, go through the flow charts so in the next <clears throat> in the next lecture we will go uh, we will go through the flow charts and few arithmetic operations like binary ones so you would be able to know that how computer works so you have an assignment like a little assignment yes, for that thing it's it's a generic it's not you know uh, uh, typically based on computer uh, architecture so just write yes, it down that how uh, many kinds of data storage we have how many kinds of data storage we have like yeah. hardware and software both yes ma'am okay so i believe okay, that we should stop the lecture here